My name is Babatunde Akpalo. I'm the director, of, uh, the director of All the Colors of the World are Between Black and White. Uh, the film will be showing at the Panorama section of the Berlin International Film Festival. If you say we just waste our time. You can't waste time. No matter what thing we do, time will move. What we can waste is our lives. Hi and welcome to the 37th Teddy Award. My name is Jan Felix Wutig and today I'm here with Babatunde Apalovo to talk about the film All the Colors of the World are Between Black and White. Hey there, thank you so much for taking the time. Hi, uh, it's so very nice to be here. Yeah, and um, well, thank you for, for all the colors. I, I found that it was this incredibly beautifully shot film that that talks about the queer relationship of of two men uh in in nigeria and and the implications it has on the community and how they how they sort of inch towards each other in their relationship um maybe you could start with telling us how the idea of the film came to you uh, thank you very much. Uh, the idea came to me like a, a while ago. I, I think I've been writing this story for about a couple of, like probably five years right now. And uh, I mean, initially it wasn't supposed to be uh, a quest story. You know, it was supposed to be a story about Lagos and my love for it. And then of course, a lot of the complexities uh, that comes with, you know, being a Lagosian, like a lot of the realities, you know. But along the way, I encounter like uh, a very, very big incident that kind of like, completely change my life, you know, if I can put it that way. So like a friend of mine that we live, in, you know, back from the university was lynched because of, you know, of his sexuality. And yeah. and that kind of like opened my eyes, you know, to start seeing things differently. Then I realized that this city that I love so much, because I love Lagos, uh, that I grew up in, that I kind of like, you know, base my life on, is an extremely hostile city, you know. It's a city whereby just by you looking at the wrong person in the wrong way, it can actually get you, you know, killed, mm -hmm. you know. And that kind of like just changed my idea of the story. And then I, I just decided to make the story to be about, you know, two guys that are going through, that are just getting to know each other because it, it you know, they're trying they try to fall in love, you know, yeah. what um, in another city, it's just, they're probably, they're probably going to be worried about something else. They're going to probably going to worry like, about the fact that, oh, does it like the same color as myself? Does it like, you know, different, it's probably mundane things, but here yeah, in Lagos, they have to like worry about the fact that what other people are thinking, you know, so that's just pretty much how the story developed. Yeah, yeah. And I just to to tell people a little about uh, because some people might not be that familiar. Um, what what is the situation of the queer community in in Lagos? Uh, it's quite very dire, you know. Really, you know, because again, just a queer relationship can hear you fourteen years imprisonment. Mm -hmm. You know, and in fact, having anything to do with that also can also fetch you the same um, punishment. But but the problem really to me, you know, the the most, I mean, that is actually very sad, really. But what is even sadder is not even the legal um, means against that kind of relationship. It's the way people perceive it, mm -hmm. the way people take it, the way people react to it, you know. And I mean, you find a situation whereby the fact that your queer gives people the right to lynch you, Mm. Uh, you know, because it has actually happened to me before. Like, I've actually had that experience whereby something was going on. I was like, oh, why is this guy getting beaten? And, oh, and somebody replied, oh, he's gay. And that was enough reason yeah. for for that to happen. That justified, you know, that action, you know. And I was supposed to understand that, yeah. oh, okay. Because that's what everybody did. Everybody just understood the fact that this person is like this, then it means that they must be punished that way. So that, that to me is... Is very very sad and i think that that's like one of the most you know so it's even like a, a worse scenario than even the legal implication of it you know the, the way your friends the casualty of it the fact that it's so commonplace it's so common ground like anything can happen to you know to people that just simply because they have like a different sexuality yeah yeah very true um and i i think you one of the great strengths of the film is how you portray that 
that relationship between your two performers, between the two uh, uh, figures on, of Bambino and Baba. And um, my question would be, how did you work with your performers to um, to to do the scenes that you wanted to show? All right, uh, thank you. So. Um, it's it's um, I, I get that leads to even like even a more problematic question because first of all before we could get the two guys to be in the film mm. was a lot of struggle you know because i i think myself and dami the producer we practically spoke to the entirety of the young guys in nollywood like that that's like the nigeria film industry yeah. to try to get them to like be on the film and it was impossible you know everybody yeah. was turning it down you know everybody was turning it down for one reason or the other but we all know the reasons why it was being turned down you yeah. know so until i was able to find uh topper you know topper was he has been like this big Nollywood guy, you know, which we weren't even expecting that he's going to jump on the project. But again, he has acted in something before, like a, a film called Siri Larry, where he acted as maybe not a character, but I, I knew he, was, he had the confidence, he had the boldness, yeah. you know, to go that way. So, I mean, we spoke to him and it was like, okay, fine, you know, just tell me what you want to do, you know. So and we had like series of conversation. I had to. Uh, because I knew, you know, like I knew it's a very special topic, it's a very unique topic, and then I, I, I do not want something to surprise, you know, my performer on set. So I actually really, really want to let them understand what I really want to do. So yeah. I was very, very explicit, you know, in every single thing that I want to do, you know. And I also think I also joined, you know, I kind of like changed the script, changed my direction based on their own uh, experience because they are living in Lagos, definitely. So which means I have their own experience with this, you know. So and I got talking to Tokwe and then he said, oh, yeah, I do have experience with it because a lot of times I get approached by people, mm -hmm. you know, about this, you know. And so that's kind of like informed the way we develop the character, yeah. you know, especially for Tokwe, especially for Bambino. But with Bauer, it was a little bit different because we got back quite very late. In fact, mm -hmm. It was getting to a point where we we're about to cancel the shoot mm -hmm. because we couldn't get Bauer, you know. And the character that I had in mind for Bauer kind of like changed as well because uh, when Rio Rio David came on on board or came on set to you know to to, to take on the role, he was in my Bauer. It was not the character that I created. You know, it wasn't the person that I wanted to take on that role. Because Bob, I mean, Rio is my friend. We've, we've had a lot of conversation, but I never saw him in that role. Yeah. You know? yeah. Then until Daniel again came out like, dude, you know, <laughs> this might not be your bar, but I actually think that I can do it. And I'm yeah, saying this yeah. not because he's, a, he's, my, he's our friend. I'm saying it because... I really, really believe in it. I think that, okay, fine, it's going to bring a little bit a different perspective to it. So because of that, I mean, then he did a couple of tips, you know, then I had several conversations with him as well. Like, okay, this is exactly what I want to do. And then I changed the character for him. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, one of the, the things that I found very interesting was um, what, what jobs they have actually as, as you know, as as um as a driver and also as uh you know as in the in the booth selling betting tickets um yep. w what significance did did these jobs have for you when you thought about yeah them? i mean with, with yeah with with bauer with bambino that's quite very straightforward because like i said originally the story was supposed to be by a guy that kind of like goes around lagos that really really loved the city you know and of course it was like one of the one of the jobs that take you around, you know, if you're a delivery person, you get to know a lot of places. You know a lot of the secrets of a city. You know how to get from point A to point B, which is actually very, very important, especially in Lagos, you know. Yeah. So it just felt natural that the guy has to do it like that. You know, he has to be somebody that is always going out there in the city. But again, he is used to that city, even though it doesn't feel in a certain way that it belongs to that city, you know. So he see goes back home and then he see on his own, he see a very, very lonely person, you know. But with Bauer, it's again quite very straightforward because that is the kind of like reality you see in Lagos. You see people that wants to be something, mm -hmm. they want to become a better version of themselves. They they have an idea of 
what they want to do with their life, but they can't. You know, I, I don't think it's even very specific to Lagos. I think it's all over the world, really. You know, and then you have to do some certain things to make ends meet. You know, you have to pay the bills. You know, but again, you, you can't lose yourself along the way. You know, so yeah, I, I think yeah. in a way that just kind of like mirrored the kind of person that he is. You know, it shows that he's the kind of person that we want something, and then we do anything possible. You know, to get that thing. And it, and I, and I think it's also very very uh, interesting again that you know the person that came and changed his life in a way both you know in both psychologically and then of course romantically is is bambino because again it was a picture that they took together yeah. that got him the attention that he needed to actually leave that area mm-hmm. you know which is actually the way he met bambino yeah you know? yeah true uh one of the the aspects that I found very um, refreshing and and surprising about the film was that you included a female character, Ifeinve, um, to kind of you know have a, have a crush on 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 Bambino, um, and and actually having feelings towards him, and then those feelings being kind of turned down, and it's sort of developing into a social issue as well. Um, mm-hmm. What was the idea behind including that character? All right, so. Um, what I really wanted at, at the beginning, you know, at the initial stage of the story was to find a relationship that kind of mirrors um, Bambino's relationship with Bauer. Mm-hmm. You know, I wanted like an opposing view, more or less, like something that you can use and say, okay, fine, I mean, this is the way it could have been. You know, this is, you know, this is Bambino himself. So, mm-hmm. again, he, I think at some level, he really, really likes um if I think it does. And, you know, it's just that it couldn't get to that level with her with the way people have gotten with, with Bauer, you know, basically because of who he is, you know, and then it, because he's very true to himself. Yeah. And, and, then, and then it seems the existence of If Iwa kind of like always reminds him that um, this is who you are because like there's this beautiful lady that is that loves him that is willing to settle down that was even willing to you know not because it's actually a big deal the fact that she has been betrayed to somebody else and then she's willing to let go of all that yeah. you know just to be him and then he can't you know he really wants to but he can't I, I think just in a way that kind of like really really solidifies that really really define the relationship he has with Bauer you yeah. know I think it makes it it, it gives it much more impact. Yeah, yeah. I found so too, actually. I found it, it really translates really well because it puts those those relationships uh, on different levels. And, and, and you know, it, it, it is conditioned to the relationship with Bawa that the thing with uh, Ife Inva has, oh, yeah. has happened before. And it kind of, you know, in, in that contrast is w- how the beauty of the relationship with Bawa um, yes, actually comes out. Re- develops yeah um also i think it's it's not simply about a a queer issue but it's also on a on a sort of larger scale about social issues as well i mean you have that scene um (laughs) i i just realized now that i'm kind of giving away something from the film right now (laughs) but um (laughs) let's let's just put it like this there's a scene in the film um where um a person marrying is saying okay I, i'm gonna marry you but on under the condition that i may study um yeah. and i found that quite beautiful um kind of relating to to s- larger social issues there um what was the idea behind including that that line or that scene in the film yeah um i mean i'm, I'm glad you noticed that <laughs> you know because uh, it's like one of those things that I really, really fought for, uh, in, even in the edits, you know, because there's like a longer storyline that connects, that makes that shine even more, mm-hmm. you know, between uh, Ifeiwa and um, Bambino, because simply put, their relationship was actually well, was much more developed in the script than it was in the film, oh, yeah. you know, because yeah. <laughs> we need to point it out. So yeah, uh, it, it's, it is like a, it, like you said, it's, it's one of the things that to me felt like a sort of social commentary on you know what is going on mm-hmm. in you know Lagos really because again we have like the under, we have like so many complexities we have so many stories so many people you know doing some certain things that they do not really want to do you know so the relationship between Feiwa and, and Bambino 
develops from a friendship, right? It starts from the fact that they read book together, they exchange ideas, and in a sort of way, Bambino was a sort of mentor to her. And then, you know, even though he couldn't be with her, yeah. he decided to be like, okay, fine, you know what? I'm going to guide you. You know, yeah, I'm yeah. going to. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna help you as much as I can, you know, in a way that I will allow you to discover yourself, you yeah. know. Because again, there's still that issue in Nigeria specifically, you know, where you have like a lot of the um the, the, the high percentage of illiteracy among female more than there are among males. You know, it's always like that. Even even though a guy doesn't want to go to school, there's a lot of Thing. there's a lot of uh, opportunities for him to attend school, to mm-hmm. go to school, to have an education that the females don't really have access to, you know. But again, I, I didn't want to, like, you know, dwell on that. I didn't want to, like, you know, make the film, like, you know, like, social justice film, you know. Yeah. I just wanted to tell the story, right? And and I felt like that is part of the reality of the people living I mean, of those characters, of people living in that environment, you're going to see a lot of these things in their lives. So it's not just, it's not, it's not like a borrowed concept. You yeah. know, it's their life. You see it all the time. They want to achieve something. They want to do something, but they cannot, simply because of a lot of the social barriers, you know, that is present in their life. And such social barrier also affects almost everybody, if you think about it. The fact that Bawa and Bambino couldn't be together simply because of um, what people are going to say, you know, yeah. and, you know, uh, and the fact that you can't exactly live your life, you know, as as free as you want to, yeah. based yeah. on all these social social circumstances. Yeah, and I thought that 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 scene at the end, even though it it came from a much larger script, apparently, that it really puts like a beautiful spot on that whole issue. You know, it's it's not that it that it just comes in front and it's always in the way or something, but it it is just. It shows you one thing that is that that should be talked about, or an important issue that is just there, and the, yes. the scene alone tells you that it's there and that it should be yes. uh, commented upon. Yeah, like I said, I'm really, I'm really glad you noticed that. I felt like a lot of people are going to miss that, yeah. you know, especially the fact that, you know, like I said, I kind of like cut down on that, you know. So, and I think like it also make a lot of sense because that was when you know Bambino comes in and they share that look. You know that acknowledgement that I see you. You know, like yeah. you know. So I, I, I think to me that was that was what awesome. I think it was it was quite very beautiful. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's yeah, it's a beautiful scene. Um, I think actually that's that's it from me. Uh, Babandu, thank you so much for 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 taking the time. Um, um thank you very much as well i mean yeah. and, and, and i do enjoy this conversation i mean it's coming from somebody that i think kind of like gets the film <laughs> you, know, <laughs> so, <laughs> you know so i mean because again we didn't talk about a lot of the obvious so but again the things we talked about i really really like it and i really, really appreciate you taking your time to watch the film and coming up with those thoughts thank yeah. you so much I, I loved every second of it and i'm really looking forward to to seeing you in berlin in in a couple of days yeah definitely <laughs> definitely yeah.